Now let's work on the Find All Artifacts API endpoint. This is a pretty simple API endpoint. There is no need to send any parameter. And there is one success response, which is find all success. The sequence diagram design of find all artifacts is very similar to find an artifact by ID. So I'm not going to show you here. Let's start with the controller. Here, let's define a handler method that handles this find all API endpoint. Public result find all artifacts. Now, this is a get mapping, and the URL will be API version 1 artifacts. return null. The controller delegates to the artifact service object. So let's go to artifact service and define a find all method. So right beneath find by ID, public. Now this time it returns a list of artifacts. Artifact find all. List dot of. Okay, so for this method, it just returns an empty list. Here is the plan. According to TDD, we will first write a test method for this find all method of the artifact service class, then implement this find all method to make the test case pass. Next, we move on to the artifact controller and do the same thing. Write a test first and then implement the find all artifacts method. In the end, we will use Postman to perform some API integration testing. Let's get to it. Let me close the controller and open the test class for service. First, let's come up with a test method for find all. To write a test case, we need to consider three things. Given, when, and then. In given, we need to create a list of found artifacts and then define the behavior of the mock objects find all method. In this class, let's create a field. called list of artifacts. Then in the setup method, let's populate this list. To save time, I've already copied some code snippet. So paste here. This list only has two artifacts. Deluminator and Invisibility Cloak. Okay, let's scroll down to test find all success. So this simplifies the given part. Given artifact repository dot find all. 
So if the find all method of the repository is invoked, instead of really talking to the database to find all artifacts, this will return this dot artifacts. Let's move on to the when step. So in when step, we're going to invoke the find all method of artifact service because this is the method that under test find all and it returns the actual we call it actual artifacts in the then part we're going to compare the size of the actual artifacts against the size of this dot artifacts assert that actual artifacts dot size is equal to this dot artifacts dot size they're supposed to be equal we also going to verify The find all method of the artifact repository gets called exactly once. That's it. So next, let's launch this test case. Run test find all success. And no surprise, it fails because the expected value is two, but the actual value is zero. Because in this implementation, the find all of the service returns an empty list. So no wonder the actual size is zero. Okay, next, let's try to work on implementing the find all method of artifact service. It is actually very, very simple. Just invoke this dot, artifact repository dot find all that's it next let's launch the test case again to make sure it passes okay it passed very good next let's move on to the controller let me close this and close this Let's create a test method for find all artifacts of artifact controller class. At test void test find all artifacts success. Given when and then, because in controller, we always combine when and then steps. Okay, so in given, we need to define the behavior of the find all method of the mock object artifact service. So given this dot artifact service dot find all, we return this dot artifacts. Now remember, the artifact controller test also have a field called artifacts. Now in this case, this one has six artifacts instead of two. Next, let's use mock MVC to simulate an HTTP GET request to the find all API endpoint. This dot mock MVC dot perform GET API v1 artifacts dot accept media type 
application.json and expect json path dollar sign dot flag dot value supposed to be true then let's copy and paste this is for code message data Status code supposed to be success. And the message supposed to be find all success. And for data, we're interested in how many artifacts are there in this returned list. And here is the syntax. Matchers. Make sure it's from org dot hamcrest dot has size. This dot artifacts dot size. So here we want to make sure that the number of artifacts in the response is equal to the number of these dot artifacts. Okay. Next, let's keep going. Now, optionally, you can also verify the first and the second artifact in the returned response body. So, for example, here we can use data brackets zero. So, this JSON path actually can retrieve the first artifact, which is the deluminator. Uh, let's make sure its ID matches the ID of the deluminator, okay, which is here. name name and here is the illuminator and the second one is invisibility clock And the perform is not happy because we haven't handled the exception. Let's add it to the method signature. Okay, now it's happy. All right, so let's launch this test case. Wrong, test find all artifacts success. And it fails because of the Okay, no value at JSON path, dollar sign dot flag. Okay. So next, let's implement the find all artifacts. First, we're going to call this dot artifact service and use its find all method to find all artifacts. And we're going to call this found artifacts. That's simple. Can we just return the found artifacts in a result object to the client directly? No. That will cause the JSON infinite recursion due to the one-to-many relationship between artifact and wizard. What should we do? We need to convert the found artifacts to a list of artifact details. So here's how I do it. Convert found artifacts to a list of artifact DTOs. Found artifacts dot stream. So we're going to convert the list to a stream. Then dot, we're going to use map found artifact 
this dot artifact to artifact DTO converter dot convert the found artifact. Okay, it's pretty long. So let's break it. Okay. Then let's collect them to list. Okay. Collect them to list. All right. And let's create a variable to hold the returned DTOs. So let's call this artifact DTOs. Okay. And the return new result. I'm going to give it a flag equal to true. The code is status code dot success. The message will be find all success. Okay, because it says here we're expecting find all success. And the payload should be a list of DTOs, which is here. Artifact details. Okay, that's all. Now, if you think this lambda expression here is too long, we can refactor it to method reference. So like this, replace lambda with method reference. Click here. That is shorter. Okay, so basically it means that go through a stream of artifacts for each one of them, let's convert it to DTO. Then we're going to collect them into a list. So that gives us a list of DTOs. Okay. All right. Then let's test to make sure this works. Okay. The test case pass. So we're down with this find all artifacts. In the end, let's also test using Postman. So let's create another request. Add request. And let's call this find all artifacts. It's a get request. So let's reuse this API. This time we don't have to provide any path parameter. Save. Okay. Now make sure we're Make sure we launch this project. No, 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 no. Make sure we run this project. Okay, it's working. And click send. All right, here, as you can see, we got a response with one, two, three, four, five, six, actually six, six artifacts. And this is the owner, this is the owner, owner, and so on. Okay, we just completed the find all artifacts API endpoint, which corresponds to the first user story. Let's select this. Next, let's work on the second user story. As a logged in user, I want to add an artifact so that we can keep track of this new artifact in the magical world. For now, we're not considering logging in. So let's just work on adding an artifact to the database. I will see you in the next video.